All right, everyone. Hello. How are you doing? I'm Tin Stelian, and this is Wild Animal Racing by Paul Bird, who is probably not a bird, but maybe. Who knows? So we're going to do all the cups. We'll choose the elephant. All the drivers have the same stats. And uh, let's go on three, two, one, go. So you can do the cups in any order. I'm going to do them in reverse order because that's from hardest to easiest and that is the best way to do it for the speedrun because it's easy to screw up this level. It's definitely the hardest in the game because it has the most ridiculous shortcut in the game where you cut half the track by driving up the side of the mountain. And sometimes this is very inconsistent and you can get stuck like I just did there. Let's see if I can recover this. This is why we do this at the start of the run, because sometimes you have to reset entirely. Hopefully, I don't have to do that here, but I might. Okay, are we going? Are we going? Are we going? Kind of. Hey, there we go. Kind of. So I'm mashing the jump button here, but half the time, when you press the jump button, it, you don't actually jump. The physics in this game are very weird. Oh my god, this is just a terrible start. Can we at least get up this hill? Come on. Can we at least trigger the lap. There we go. Okay, we've done one lap. Uh, normally I finish the race by now, but this is why we do this level first, because it's easy to screw it up. But yeah, jumping is incredibly inconsistent for no real reason. I don't know why half the time jumping doesn't work. It seems to be the faster you're going, the better you'll jump. And also the farther you the harder you mash the button, the better you'll jump as well. And now we're stuck again. This is a very bad run. But the other guys have finished. Uh, let me just do this normally, because that is definitely not going very well. I'll try it again for lap three. It is not 100% consistent, but it's definitely not this inconsistent. I don't think I'm going to get it. I didn't go far enough up the hill, so I'm just going to not do that. Try to jump down here. This is by far the worst first race I've ever done this game, so I think that's saying something. Normally my lap, my race times are about half that long. But that that's okay. That was the hardest level of the game. they only get easier, except this one's also kind of hard. Also, the AI kind of pushes you around all the time. They have extreme catch-up. We're going to do another skip. We're going to fail that skip. If you jump uh, correctly, you can go around the rocks, and that saves a few seconds. But yeah, the AI catches up extremely quickly to you, and you can drive on top of them, and they will push you around. They're much stronger than you. They have much more pushing power. Let's try this skip again. Oh, I didn't work. I hit the wall and it slowed me down so I didn't have enough speed to get over. Where are the cutscenes? The cutscenes uh, are not part of the main game. You have to manually uh, load them up. And so I will do that after the run. And let's see if we can do it here. There we go. We have successfully done one skip in the game. So I feel like I'm not a total failure now. Uh, oh, that was... Oops. I've screwed everything up now. For a second, I thought you couldn't do the jump there, but you can. I get discombobulated, and now everything's ruined. I'm going to finish last again. Well, this has been a great start. I assure you this game does have skips. I'm just bad at doing them. Specifically right now. I'm usually not this bad. 
this track does not have any skips. Most of the tracks in this game actually don't have skips, but a few do. And I think we'll see the last two that do in the next cup. You can whack a hippo with a hammer in wild animal racing. I mean, how many other games can you do that? Not many. That's why this game's so great. Oh nice, I'm getting propelled by the rhino. I should point out what those diamond things do that I'm collecting. Uh, those behave similarly to coins in like Mario Kart 8, where you will go slightly faster once you pick them up. However, you don't lose them when you get hit with the power-up, and you can collect an infinite number and go infinitely fast. Uh, I have gotten up to 100 kilometers per hour before. Going backwards, because that's the only way you can without finishing. But that is not uh, practical for speedrun purposes, because you have to go backwards. Should have hit the giraffe. I'm sorry. I, you, I will hit the giraffe at some point with the power up. It's a battle for first. It's always a battle for first in this game because of how much the AI catches up. Once I hit the finish line, I'm gonna quit out. And go to the next cup, the magical cup. This track is another track that has a skip. And it is right here. And I completely failed it, again, as usual. Actually, this one's usually not that difficult. I feel like the elephant is bad luck. Elephant's not doing me very well here. There we go, that's what the skip is supposed to look like. Just skip over that corner by jumping over the cloud. All the characters have the same stats, there's no difference between them, so I just picked the elephant at random. Also, my mouse cursor is on the stream. No, it's not. This game is literally Need for Speed the Run, except it doesn't have quick time sequences. Yeah, pretty much. I played Need for Speed the Run. And I've played this, and I can't tell the difference. So here we can jump over these little gaps. If you don't jump over them, you'll run into some little walls. And if my memory serves me correctly, this is the last track in the game that is any sort of skip. And the skips in this level are pretty minor. Uh oh. When I was practicing earlier, I was not this bad. I promise. But we did win, so that's, that's good. And yeah, that's it's like a Mandelbrot fractal that has been turned into a level for some reason. And now we're All right, we ran into a couple tech issues, unfortunately, but we'll be uh, back right now, hopefully. On the left side of the screen. There you go. Oh, there you oh, come on, giraffe. I hit you with the rocket. Don't, don't just bounce off like that. Hippo, what are you doing? Uh-oh, did the thing go? Is this on my end, or... Their end? 
since I'm still streaming live. Okay, I think we're back. That balloon, you have to pop it immediately because um, it will make you slow down automatically if you don't. I don't know what you missed. Um, yeah, I didn't hit the giraffe, unfortunately. That was the end, I believe, but I don't actually remember. It's been a while. Yes, okay. We're gonna be the rhino this time. We're gonna go to Egypt. So I don't know what you missed there, but the rockets kind of bounced off everyone and the rhino was driving backwards. So that's great. Um, hopefully you get to see driving on two wheels, because that happens in this game. That's a pretty great glitch. So this is Egypt. Just how you remember it, you know, the Great Pyramids, all eight of them. No um, shortcuts on this level. You would think there would be, but they actually... Mr. Paul Bird was able to successfully uh, make it so you can't skip this level. Good job, Paul. You did it. One weird thing about this game is that the actual Rhino is a dark bluish gray, whereas in the icon he's a very light gray. Uh, I did not mean to do that, but we'll do some Tony Hawk-esque stunts as I crash into that wall. Yeah, shoutouts to Paul Bird. I was trying to get that power up, but decided against it. There are no boost power-ups in this game. There's nothing that will make you go faster, so there's no direct incentive to pick up a power-up. There's no real chance that it will help you go quicker, just that it might knock some AI out of the way that could be a bit of a nuisance. So now we are in Holland, I believe. can get whacked by a windmill. So I don't know if the stream was offline when I mentioned that, but you want to pop those as soon as possible because they will slow you down over time if you don't. I actually don't know what they're supposed to do. If they're supposed to be a shield, but they just make you slow down, so just pop them. Pop the bubble. Yes, this is a Steam game, and I did pay actual money for this. I forget how much, but I, it was definitely no more than $4. Might have been less on the Steam sale. Can't remember. But I would highly recommend this game. Even as a banana, right out of Mario Kart. However, it is infinite bananas for a few seconds. So you have throw in a bit of variation on the Mario Kart mix. But I mean, how can you even compare this game to Mario Kart? It is in a, a league of its own. This is millions of times better than Mario Kart. I still don't think I've hit the giraffe once. I need to do that at some point. Whoops, jumped over the power up. Great job, me. Some nice textures breaking. These rockets are great because they don't actually hit the other people all the time, but I'm not going to show you that to you because I got the hammer instead. Enjoy your bananas, people. The sounds of tires squealing because they've hit my bananas. I'm actually pretty sure that's the same exact sound effect I used in a game I made several years ago called The Incredible Automobile Driving Simulator, which is great. It's kind of like Omnibus in that you can't, you couldn't slow down, but it was in 2D and you could only turn in 90 degree angles. 
I don't know why I'm mentioning this. It was clearly nowhere near as good as Wild Animal Racing. So that is the world tour. We went to Egypt, Holland, and Paris. As we all know, those are the only places in the world. So I'm going to drive on the beach here so I can go in a straight line, which is a bit faster. However, the AI is probably going to push me around, so at some point I won't be able to take a shortcut. Like right here, for instance, I can't go on the beach because they pushed me to the left. And that guy pushed me to the left again. Sometimes they'll spin you out completely, which is always great. Oh no, actually that's not terrible. I can live with that. So just like that, I went from first to last, and now I'm back to, uh, now I'm back to first. The AI is kind of just drive in one big clump and fight each other. Screw you, giraffe! There we go, I hit the giraffe. Took me long enough. Oh yeah, the cursor has come back. How did that happen? They had to use it to select the menu, that's why. Glad I used all those bananas when I was in last place, that really helped. Oh. Oh god! That was bad. Oh, I don't have enough time to catch up now. I'm gonna finish last. This is truly a tragedy. Hippo has won in 2 minutes, 0 seconds, 95. 2 colon 0 colon 95. That is not how time works. Oh, I should point out this game is available in over 40 languages. You can actually choose them in the main menu. And I probably should have chosen one that wasn't English because, you know, it's bad to use a language that you know. That would make too much sense. So you want to jump over that corner because it will slow you down because of how bumpy it is. You'll frequently lose a lot of speed. not get anyone. Rockets! I love the rockets because they handle so dumbly. They just flop all over the place. What happened there? Is it available in a Hindi? Probably. I would have to check. Pirate speech. I don't think it has pirate speech, unfortunately. Alright, there is one track left to go, and then that will be time, and then I will show uh, the movies. All the wonderful cutscenes. This is Iceland. You can tell it's Iceland by all the ice that's in this level. If you want to play this level risky, uh, you can drive on the side here. You can take these corners slightly more quickly. Now we have to be careful because it's easy to fall into the lava, and that would be bad. Also, I'm driving on two wheels. That's nice. Kill everyone with that hammer. Also, these characters have uh, names, but I don't remember them. Uh, if you look at the Steam trading cards for this game, I believe they have the names of the animals. See, we 
are almost on time. One more quarter. Can't let Giraffe take it. Aha! Time! Oh no, Giraffe took it anyway! Ah, oh, it's terrible. I did not even win. Yeah, second place. And those are fourth through sixth. So that was Wild Animal Racing by Paul Bird, but we gotta take a look at the movies here. There are eight of them. You unlock them by getting 40,000 points. I've gotten way more than that. So let's watch all of them in order. We've got the elephant, the giraffe, who is choking on something. That does not seem healthy. And we've got the hippo dancing. Yeah, everyone's dancing in place. That this is a very strange scene. I'm going to let this one speak for itself. And now it's Christmas time, everybody. Merry Christmas. Santa Claus is actually a hippopotamus. Who knew? And his reindeer are giraffes. And yep, just look at the blank blue nothing. That's great. Yes. Nice. End of scene. Oh no! Someone killed the rhino and put him on the wall. Oh no! It's a joke! He was alive and well all this time. Gotta strike that T-pose for the camera. That was a short one. Oh no, the lion's trapped. And the giraffe is eating. Where'd the lion go? He crawled out of the pipe, and now it's suddenly raining. Alright, that was the thing. Here's another thing. It's a, it's a balancing act. And there's the giraffe eating again. Whoa! Oh no. God, what is that giraffe doing? He seems like he's an incredible amount of pain. Unfortunately, we can't do anything about that. Our hippo has entered the rocket. No, it's gonna hit Earth! It's gonna blow up the planet. Oh, and it just ends. We'll never know what happened to poor old Hippo. Last cutscene. Oh no, the trees have spontaneously combusted. Good thing the elephant had water conveniently in his trunk, which is having no effect on the fire. Oh, and, and then it just turned out like a light bulb. Yeah, elephant! 
We did it. And that was all the cutscenes of Wild Animal Racing. That was Paul Bird's incredible creation, Wild Animal Racing. Someone asked, does it have Hindi? Uh, actually, no, I don't see it here. But it does have Slovensky, Lietuvos, Sestina, and Serbo-Croatian. So it's got everyone covered.